Hello, Keiko here, and welcome to the chaos. Let's go. Okay, where is Tia? Oh, there he is. Okay. Hello. I've completed your trial. You don't have to report back to me. Speaking other people, seeking other people's validation won't benefit your training. Only you can evaluate the result of this trial. You'll progress faster that way. Um, understood. Xiao always has such strong opinions. Uh, he could be nicer when sharing them, though. Uh, from tomorrow on, I'll start raising the difficulty of your training, so you'll have to... Have to do what? Ah, oh, another one of those pesky visitors. I'll leave him to you, Ganyu. It's also a part of your training. Pesky visitor. So even here, there are those that Xiao can't deal with. Oh, heavens blessed by the Rex Lapis, I finally come upon the Adepti. Are all of you the Adepti of this mountain? They're great, my name's Si Tin Cheng. I came to ask for your merciful blessing. Oh, Adepti, I beg of you, please grant me luck, wealth, and a good career. <laughs> ah, it's a pilgrim. I can see why Xiao finds his type troublesome. Yeah, he can handle any battle, but talking to strange humans is a different story, huh? I am also one of the Adepti. You can say that I'm an Adeptus in training. Perfect, I didn't come in vain then, although you sound a bit half-hearted. Eh, doesn't matter. What blessings can you grant me? Straight to the point, huh? Dear Pilgrim, you shouldn't jump to conclusions. Adepti don't help every Pilgrim for free. For free? Do you mean that you charge people for the blessings of the Adepti? Ah, that's not what I meant. What I'm trying to say is that everything should be earned through hard work and earnest living. It would be unfair to other people if you got everything you wanted for no reason. Hold on, hold on, I've heard this all before. You're just like my old man, always nagging me. Your father must have experienced it firsthand. The lives of the common folk are riddled with hardships but are also full of joy. A person of your age should focus on work and family instead of chasing after fairy tales. Are you a real adeptus? Why do you speak and behave like our city folk? You sure you're not one of those swindlers who pose an adeptus to cheat people out of their money? <laughs> Throwback! I forgot what his name was, but he was... I think we called him like the Lord of Scams or something, but I forgot what he called himself. <sighs> okay, um, show some respect. Ugh, how dare you reprove me? I bet you came here looking for the Adepti yourself. Mm, you might sort of have a point. We did come here looking for Ganyu, after all. Enough, doesn't matter if you're real Adeptus or not. You're useless, I'm leaving. Mm, nobody's stopping you. Eh. Ganyu, don't let that guy ruin your mood. It's not his behaviour, the things he said, he was right. I thought coming back to Jane Cast and devoting myself to training would make me feel like an adeptus again. But being questioned by him made me realise that I... Come back to the harbour with us. But I'm unwelcome in Liyue Harbour as an adeptus I... We told you it was a misunderstanding. It's true, just believe us. Eh? Alright, I'll go with you to Liyue Harbour. That said, I still trust my initial judgement. If I'm proven right, I'll return to Jane Cast once again. It's a step in the right direction, let's go! Okay, I guess we're going back to the harbour. Partway to the harbour! Yes, the shrine dude, Sir Scamalot. I mean, yes, but I feel like we had a different name for him, but I can't remember what it was. <laughs> there was definitely a... we definitely had a name for him. But Sir Scamalot is also an appropriate name. Uh, Xiao just lives in an inn. Why does Ganyu feel unwelcome? I don't know! I guess she thought she got replaced and it made her sad. We're finally back. Eh, I'm still... Come on Ganyu, we're almost there. You don't want to turn back now, do you? I suppose you have a point. I w it would be quite impolite of me to leave the two of you now. That's right, where do you want to go first then? I've spent too much time in the mountains. The first thing that comes to mind is the sea. Let's go for a walk in the port. Happy to come with. Okay, where are we? Where are we going? Okay. I'm not running that way, so we're gonna teleport. So we're a little bit closer. And then we can jump off the, the railing so that we can reach wherever she's gone. I don't know where she's gone. This is probably the quickest way to get there. So we're gonna do this. And then hop off here. Let's so take a quick shortcut. Totally normal. <clears throat> and then, looks like she should be... okay. The sound of the waves in this familiar port. The smell of the sea breeze makes me nostalgic. 
I knew you didn't leave Leo for that long, how do, why do you look so moved? Well, I used to be so busy. I haven't taken a stroll around here in a long time. Oh, that's true, Ganya seems to be working all the time. Well, when I was, when I think about my time here, I spent most of it behind a desk filing documents. It put me in a certain mood, similar to the one I felt during my training in Jay and Cast, in fact. Is that, it is, it's Lady Ganyu. Aha, I wouldn't have thought I'd meet you here. You were always so terribly busy. Lady Ganyu, why are you calling her that? It, little Miss Ganyu. Ah, uh, please don't also start calling me that. Um, allow me to introduce Uncle Tien. He is... That's alright, just tell them the truth. They have done so much for Leo after all, I'm, and I am the one who has yet to introduce myself. Uncle Tian is a member of the Liyue Qixing, the Tian Shu. Wait, what? Isn't he just the guy who sits on the fishing boat? Wait, wait, this guy is one of the, the Qixing? I thought he was just this old man who was just vibing on a boat, but apparently not. What, this grandpa is a member of the Qixing? The same rank as Ning Guang? Hush now, I must ask your discretion concerning my identity. Fishing in the port and strolling about are the greatest pleasures of my life. I have no wish to be followed around by those armed guards. You won't see eyes, I'm just a forgetful and wordy old man. Uncle Chien is too modest, he's been around for a long time. There's no one who can replace a person of such noble character. Don't judge a book by its cover, they say. Haha, <laughs> ah, oh, what an honour to receive such high praise from Lady Ganyu herself. I must have done something right over the last how many decades. Uncle Tien, please, a person of your standing should really stop calling me Lady Gun Yu. Uh, my apologies, it's not my intentional, it's just a habit from my younger days. Thank you for looking after me when I first ascended to my position in the Qi Xing. Oh, so you've been friends for many decades now, huh? Oh, I was just fulfilling my duties as the Qi Xing secretary, it's nothing worthy of your gratitude. Talking about secretaries, ugh, I don't know if I should bring it up, Gun Yu. I believe you know my daughter. Why, Xin? She seems to be a bit troubled recently. Yes, she works at UAHI Pavilion and she's my junior. How can I help her? I don't know myself, really. She's all grown up now and doesn't like to ask for my help. May I trouble you to meet her at UAHI Pavilion? She just needs a bit of guidance. With pleasure. Solving the cheating problems has always been in my job description. She's back in character just like that, huh? As expected of a cheating member, he's actually helping Gan Yu. Now let's move then to UAHI Pavilion. Okay, okay, back to the mountain. We gotta time this well, because if I'm falling, I don't want to fall through a cutscene again, because that would be a bad idea. But, it's kind of how it goes. Okay. Okay, that should be good enough. Hello! Miss Ganyu, it's been too long. I don't know why, but seeing you brings me a sense of joy, a sense of peace in these chaotic times. Indeed, it has been a while. Huaixin, I'm flattered, but aren't you exaggerating a little? I heard that you've encountered some problems and came to see if I could be of some help. Uh, my father asked you to come, didn't he? Abusing a status as a member of the cheating to trouble you. Uh, don't worry, I'm always happy to help a junior colleague from Yohai Pavilion. I use not only a competent secretary, but also a great mentor. So what can you tell me about the problem? Well, where should I start? I discovered something strange about organising tax records. There are obvious irregularities in the tax declarations of two stores, Second Life and Wan Yu Boutique. However, whenever I question shopkeepers or check their accounts, I can't seem to make any progress with my investigation. Without any evidence, my hands are tied. I see, it's not uncommon for merchants to be blinded by greed. Well, is there any solution you can advise? Naturally, I've dealt with similar issues hundreds of times. Give me a moment to consider the best approach in this scenario. That's a thousand years of work experience for you. All right, let's approach it this way then. Your enemy knows you best. Huh? If I remember correctly, Second Life and One Yule Boutique are old business rivals, competing for market share due to their similar wares. In that case, in that case, I know what you mean, Miss Ganyu. I don't get it. Miss Ganyu plans to let them expose each other. Exactly. Let's start with One Yu Boutique. The owner's name is Bolai, isn't it? Yes, you're right, follow me, please. Oh, I guess we finished with her adept eye training and now we're helping her with her secretary duties, it looks like. Uh, I think I'm going the wrong way. Not the wrong way, just the slow way. <laughs> Wait, is Bolai the guy, the fishy dude? 
Like, I think he is. He's the dude at the bottom. The guy who I'm pretty sure <laughs> does some illegal stuff too. So hello. Uh, aha, we meet again, traveler, and you must be from the UI High Pavilion. I suppose you're about to place a big order. I'd be honored to offer you my wares. That would be necessary, Mr. Brolai. One new boutique's credit is not sufficient to accept orders directly from your high pavilion. Should we need to place such an order, we would certainly go to Second Life instead. Ooh, what? Second Life? Ah, oh, that rascal Dongsheng, he's stealing all my customers. Well, Second Life's credit has always been excellent, and based on the tax records, their business is thriving. Oh, tax records? Thriving? Uh, is there anything you'd like to share with us, Mr. Brolai? Don't let that rascal fool you, I know his dirty tricks best. If you don't believe me, show me his tax records, I'm sure I'll find something fishy in there. You know Second Life's business so well? Of course, that every transaction makes my blood boil. I'd rather lose money myself than see that rascal make up. Well that's... real petty. Well then, please look over this tax record. We'll review Second Life's credit based on your observations. Of course, I'll read very, very carefully. Line by line and word by word. When I take some time to examine Second Life's tax records. Ah, here I found it. That exquisite wooden furniture set he bought from farm wool carpenters at the beginning of the year, he even floated it in front of me. Look at the tax record, not a word about that furniture, and he kept all the profit for himself. I see, he must have gotten rid of all the documents relating to this transaction, no wonder there was no trace of it. I told you so, just as I expected. Can't wait to watch him squirm. Miss Gonyu, despite all this, can't he just flat out deny ever making this transaction? You might have destroyed all the evidence, but I believe the supplier, Fanmu Carpenters, might still have some proof of it. Ah, you're right. Master Liu from Fanmu Carpenters must still have the invoice. He wouldn't be swayed by the likes of Dongsheng. Hope so. Let's go to Fanmu Carpenters. It should be near Qingzhou Village. Thank you for shining a light on this case, Mr. Bolai. Oh, please, please, that's nothing. I just hope you won't be lenient with him once you find the evidence. That's the best way to show your gratitude. I'm afraid I can't go to Qingzhou Village. It's alright, Xin. You can stay in Liu Harbor and finish your work. Leave the rest to us. Ah, that's so considerate of you. Still, I'm sorry to trouble you like that. We're running all over the place today. But that's fine. It'll be worth it. This is quite interesting. From fighting slimes to fighting tax evasion. Apparently so. Apparently so. <laughs> I mean, I guess in Liyue, where everything's all about contracts and mora, uh, tax evasion is probably quite a serious... Quite a serious crime. <laughs> so... Yeah, we gotta, we gotta stop the tax evasion. <laughs> this game has it all. It does. It does. I, yeah, you just, you know, it's a little bit of a fantasy game, but they still have, you still gotta do your taxes. <laughs> I love it. I love it. It really does. Okay. Okay. Hello. Ah, uh, welcome, welcome. How can an old carpenter like me help you? I'm usually happy to take new apprentices, but I'm afraid I can't take too many at once, but I'm always around if, you keep, if you're keen for a chat. Uh, Chingsei really is full of lonely old people. Hey, I heard that flying one. Ah, Paimon, sorry. Paimon can't whisper either. Master Lu, we've just come to see you and ask you some questions. Huh, oh don't worry, I know, you're from the Yue High Pavilion, right? Why would the Qixing care about an old man like me? Well, whatever, you said that you want to ask me something, ask away then. You're very direct, Master Liu. I will be playing. We're looking for proof that Dongsheng from Second Life has been evading taxation. Dongsheng bought some furniture from you at the beginning of the year. Do you still have the invoice or any other records of that transaction? Oh, it's about Second Life. It was a big order. How could I forget? Sure enough, Mr. Bo Lai was right. Could we perhaps borrow that invoice? We won't have any evidence to bring against Dongsheng otherwise. Of course you can. But I'm not so sprightly anymore. What's that supposed to mean? I only do my woodwork and display finished wares here at Fumu Carpenters. As for old documents and such, I keep them all in a warehouse west of here. But some troublemakers have recently moved there, invading my warehouse. I tried to drag them away, but they won just won't leave. Need the invoice anyway, it may be best to get it from the warehouse yourself, and while you're at it, you can teach those louts a lesson. Ah, so that's what happened. I see. I'll leave you to it then, I need to get back to work. Ah. I take it we're gonna <laughs> clean out his warehouse for him. All in a day's work. Uh, take back the warehouse, find the invoice, time for to show our stuff in a fight. Wait, I think I saw one of those troublemakers. Ah, over there. Oh. I must use them too, it's one of the Fatui. What's he trying to do? He must be plotting something against Liu Harbor. Maybe they're the scoundrels who invaded Master Liu's warehouse. Shouldn't we observe him for a while first? Ever since Osiel attacked the harbor, the Fatui's reputation in Liu has reached rock bottom. 
We won't cause a serious diplomatic crisis by getting into some small scuffle with the Fatui within our borders, you need not worry. Besides, I can only feel their malicious intentions. Consider it my intuition as a secretary of the Chishi. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go teach him a lesson. Is that? Who is that? I'm gonna guess that's soft hyphen too. <laughs> okay, okay, let's get rid of this guy. You'll get frostbite, frozen. Ah, he's an ice dude. Oh, maybe we can just Yeah, let's do this. Oh, he's still around. Okay, let me get rid of this. And then let me do this. And let me do this. And then let me... Ah, oh, no, he's got his little ice shield. Great. This is perfect. Oh, <gasps> okay. He seems to be temporarily down. This is good. This is good. Oh. Right, I'm gonna wait for you to finish. <laughs> uh, you scoundrels. I think you've had enough. About time you tell us your plan, no? Plan? What plan? We just taught you a lesson, but clearly you weren't paying attention. If you don't spill whatever your scheming gets Leah, you will be forced to use harsher methods. I think you were harsh enough. I'm telling the truth, there's no scheme. If you're telling the truth, then why would you remember the Fatui suddenly appear on the outskirts of Chingsei village? Fine, if you really want to know, then, well, I was about to... About to what? Okay, I think it'd be quite funny if he's about to propose to somebody, but I really don't think that's going to be it. Pick berries over there! Aww. Um, I must admit I didn't expect you to come up with such a silly excuse. It's not an excuse, I rarely have a free morning and I heard that there were fresh berries in this area. Think about it, I'm here alone in Chingse, and Chingse Village is nothing more than a retirement spot for old people. What could I be scheming anyway? Judging by how he's looking at us, it doesn't seem like he feels... It does seem like he feels like he's the victim here. Do you have nothing to do with the occupation of Farnwood Carpenter's Warehouse? Farnwood Carpenter's Warehouse, where is that? I swear only came here to pick berries, that's all. So it wasn't the Fatui to cover Master Lee's warehouse after all. Whoops. I also feel he's telling the truth. Um, whoopsie. I misjudged the situation and offended you, my apologies. Our, our exchange only represents my personal views if you wish it to, so you can file a complaint to the Ministry of Civil Affairs. Exchange? This woman, she's clearly aware that the Ministry of Civil Affairs wouldn't side with us for two. Uh, yes, precisely. As an alternative, you may try to solve the problem with force once again. <laughs> Five ones in. Uh, darn you, how can you wear that solemn face of bullying me like this? What's your choice then? I'll get back to my berries. Good choice. <laughs> what a bittersweet ending. I made a laughing stock out of myself. I might have spent too much time away from work. My intuition is not as accurate as it used to be. No worries, it's always nice to teach the Fatui a lesson. Ah, let's keep moving towards Master Lee's warehouse. Our goal is to get the invoice after all. Okay. 16 hydrates. time whenever I used to collect bamboo shoots, but I didn't know this was a warehouse. Makes a lot of sense, actually. Okay. I did take 16 sips. <laughs> they weren't very big sips, but they were still 16 sips. And they were like adequately sized sips. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's not good. Guy. It's not as down as he should be. It's a bamboo shoot. Oh, I'm gonna grab that in a minute. Cause you can never have too many bamboo shoots. 
Okay, let me grab this. And let me do this. And let me do this. And that should do it. Oh, reinforcements? Wait, well, is there any of these guys? Because these are not very... <laughs> these are not very dangerous reinforcements. Oh. They're on the other bridge too. Okay. Okay. Well, I got rid of half of them. Okay, then let's do this. And let's do this. And let's do this. And this. And this. You know what? Let's do that as well. Is it a bit extreme? Probably. But he has a rock shield, so it's gonna take forever to get through that. <laughs> this one is an invoice from one in restaurants and dining tables and chairs. That's not it. Oh! We need to find the invoice. Uh, this one is one from Funeral Parlor. Oh, they make coffins. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's a bamboo shoot. Oh, another one. This one, Second Life, we finally found it. Okay, we gotta, we gotta go back to the pavilion. Okay. Okay. Let me... Let us go back down. Okay, okay. Hello. Ah, oh, Miss Garnier, you're back. I hope it wasn't too much trouble rushing about like that. I promise to help you and I keep my word. Nothing to worry about. Look, it's the invoice for the transaction between Second Life and Family Carpenters. We brought it back. Ah, uh, thank you so much. How Now we can solve this problem. Agreed. How about we go to Second Life and have a nice chat with the owner? Wait, are we going to tell him about the other guy? or Are we going to get him to audit... Lie, or are we just gonna? T I'm wondering if we're gonna tell him we found out about your tax evasion, but it was this guy who told us, and he's gonna go, Well, I let me tell you about him. Welcome to Second Life. What would you like to buy? About the tax records. Welcome, uh, isn't it Huaixin from the UI Pavilion? I remember you. I told you that all my transactions are included in the records, my tax declarations are scrupulous as well. I do hope my business won't be affected by any groundless accusations. Gana's accusations, Mr. Dongsheng, you seem very sure of yourself. But I sincerely advise that you cease this behaviour immediately. It is liable to affect the fine you'll need to pay in the end. Ah, oh, no, no, I'm an honest merchant. I would never get involved with any fortunate sources of profit. You've got no shame. Haven't I made myself clear, Mr. Dongsheng? You've already been proven guilty of tax evasion. I just came here to see if you'd confess. What? Proven guilty? How come? That's impossible. Absolutely absurd. He's talking without rhyme or reason. Must be crumbling under Ganyu's pressure. Time for the finishing blow. Miss Dongsheng, can you tell me what this is? It's an invoice from Fanwu Carpenters. I'm Master Lu, he, I, I didn't. You admit to tax evasion, this transaction was absent from the tax record. I don't think you'd find out. I didn't leave a single trace. Indeed, you wouldn't have found out if it weren't for Mr. Bolai's aid. Bolai, that imp from Wan Yo Book Boutique, so he told on me behind my back. Ha, huh, he's got his own share of dirty laundry. Oh, Mr. Dongsheng, I'd like to hear a little more about this dirty laundry. Would you care to elaborate? Ooh, he exposes them. I don't think you need to make guidance from what comes next. Yes, thank you, Miss Ganyu. I can take it from here. That's good. Ugh, I must say you're truly impressive, Miss Ganyu. Your enemy knows you best. To think you came up with this plan and executed it so masterfully. It's actually one of your father's, the Tian Shu's old tricks. I just took some inspiration from it. My father? Hitting your opponent against their enemies and watching them drag each other down from an advantageous position. That's how Uncle Tian managed to keep his position in the Qi Xing secure for so many years. I figured as Uncle Tian's daughter, you'd naturally grasp your father's strategies. I decided to use one of your father's tricks and play it out for you to see. I can see it now. Clearly, I still have a lot to learn about my father. I'm really grateful, Miss Ganyu. You're the kindest mentor I've ever had. Thank you. Ganyu solved both Hui Xin's work and family problems. Two birds with one stone. Oh, you've helped me so much. You must, you must allow me to repay your kindness. That's not necessary. No need to be so serious. It was nothing, really. Then let me treat you to a meal, huh? Travel and Paimon are invited as well. I appreciate your help. All right, come on, Ganyu. Just say yes, let's eat. Paimon, don't forget your manners. Oh, come on, it's just a meal. If it's just a meal, there's no reason for me to decline. It'll be my pleasure, Hoisin. Uh, hee hee. 
Actually, I've already booked Shinya at kiosk. I need a moment to repair everything first. Let's meet there in a while. All right, we dare not refuse such generosity. This is the Oracle Cake we predicted. Yes, they did expose themselves. Classic, classic. <laughs> Let us. I forgot which one is. These two restaurants are identical. How am I supposed to know which one is which? Oh no! No, I just want to go inside. Okay. Ooh! This is the other one. Okay. Usually we go to the the other one. Miss Gunyu, thank you for accepting my invitation, and as for the two of you, your presence is also much appreciated. Sure. That's so kind of you, Hoisin. You went to great lengths to organise this. Now, truth be told, apart from thanking you all for your help, there's something I'd like to tell you. Oh, if there's anything I can help with, just tell me straight away, no need to hesitate. I don't know, I don't really need your help, um, could you just listen for a bit? With pleasure. Uh, when I was a little girl, my father used to tell me many stories about you, Miss Gunyu. Even though I have the utmost respect for my father, I always admired how gentle and reliable you are. I only decided to join the UI Pavilion staff because I've always looked up to you. I didn't know that you think so highly of me. Aww. Now that in reality working at the UI Pavilion turned out to be an arduous task. I can't compare myself to such an outstanding secretary like you. I often doubt myself as a result. I disagree, you're a great secretary in your own right. Oh, thank you. Over the years I became a mother too. Ah, so Uncle Chen is a grandpa. Influenced by my youthful ideals, she followed my footsteps and came to be a secretary at the Yuhai Pavilion too. At first, I was worried about her. It's not an easy job after all. To tell the truth, I'm still unsure if she's capable enough. But after all that happened this time, I've made up my mind to support her choice. So what made you change your mind? The fact that she'll have you, Miss Ganyu, as her senior colleague. It'll help her gentle as always and tell her your mum used to do it like that. It'd be such a beautiful moment. If it's not too much to ask for, she might still need your guidance in 20 plus years too. My shin. I never thought I meant so much to you. Just like when you showed me my father's trick, having you as their witness makes people feel at ease. Witness? It's true that I've witnessed thousands of years of you at Harvest History, all the changes it's gone through, the stories of its people. But I've always regarded it as nothing more than the source of my loneliness. My shin, you don't know how important those words are to me. You made me realise I share another connection with the people of Liyue Harbour apart from my contract with Rex Lapis. They rely on me, accept me, and long for me to bear witness to their stories. Of course, you're irreplaceable to us. No, that's right, that's why I can't disappoint you. Very good news finally shared up. Even if I've really been supplanted, I wish to fight for my place. I won't let you down, I'm going to fulfill my contract and keep working as a teaching secretary. <laughs> you haven't been fired as a misunderstanding! Regardless, I'll go back and see for myself. I'm afraid that it might have all become a mess during my absence. No time to waste, let's go back to work. Good luck, Miss Ganyu. Ah, we're leaving already? Paimon's still hungry! Wait, did we, did we not eat dinner? I think we did. Okay. Back to the pavilion! Again! Oh, hydrate and a stretch. Oh, a bone clicked there. That's probably not a good thing, but that's fine. <laughs> anyway, to the pavilion. I gotta pick a safe bit where I won't hit something on the way down. Ah! Aisha, are you okay? Did you fall asleep standing up? Look, look who's back! You even have enough time for leisure? It seems you three are a suitable replacement for me after all. Not at all, we just, we've been working for too long if we didn't take a break. We wouldn't have survived long enough to see you again, Miss Ganyu. Miss Ganyu, we've missed you! Eh, that's so kind of you all, given we've only met once. We've been praying day and night for you to return and take over your duties again. To us, you're like an adeptus coming down to the human world to save all life. Forget all our envious complaints from before, just free us from this strenuous work, please. 
All right, all right, I see. Please divide the matters at hand into government affairs, business affairs, and civil affairs. Mark out the tasks that haven't been started and those that are in progress. I'll take care of the rest. Of course, we'll do it right away. Finally, we're saved. <laughs> oh, wow, they really... <laughs> How much does she do? Ah, oh, yes, yeah, there's one more thing. I'd like to earnestly thank you, Traveller. If it weren't for your companionship, I would still be embroiled in my inner conflict right now. It was fun for me, too. To think I'd gain a human friend outside of work, it makes me happier than I could have imagined. I'd like to repay you when I'm done with the work at hand. What would you say if I accompanied you on one of your trips? Sure, but are you ever going done with work, aren't you? Hmm. Let's cross that bridge when we come to it, shall we? Aww. <laughs> Okay! Okay! I guess. I guess that's done! Exciting! Exciting! Cool! Another story quest up. So we have... Yeah. Okay. So the thing is, I'm pretty sure there's a quest that you have to do after the Ganyu story quest. But I don't know where it is! <gasps> that is true! It is a happy story quest for once! There was no tragic backstory! All we got was like cute stories about Ganyu being a happy baby and then <laughs> we had some misunderstandings but they were basically low-level misunderstandings all things considered like nobody died nobody got injured it was just Ganyu taking a break well and us showing her that she's really loved and appreciated so you know overwork Ganyu though true that is true but it didn't seem to be causing as much of a crisis as like like, she just seems to be- she doesn't seem distressed by the fact that she's overworked. Whereas when the Jean quest, Jean was like properly- Jean, I think, passed out because she was so overworked. But Ganyu was just kind of chill about it. If I think she was bored without it, to be honest. And Ganyu rolling down the mountain as a baby? Yes! That was adorable. Oh, and you're actually back. Hello, welcome back. Um, so we finished the Ganyu story quest. And I think that's triggered this. So I'm going to see what this guy has to say. Because while we're in Liyue, I might as well do the Liyue quest first. <laughs> Hello! Ah, the Jade Chamber to think it could truly be rebuilt. What are you doing over here? That's you. I'm currently thinking about how to clear up the flotsam out here in the ocean. You remember how the Jade Chamber crashed and was completely destroyed, right? It left a ton of floating wreckage in its wake. The Ministry of Civil Affairs organized several rounds of cleanup, but those tiny pieces have proved all but impossible to clear away. Now the Jade Chamber has been rebuilt, and yet you can still find flotsam coming in on the tides now and then. That's really turning into a problem for us. Our superiors have been chasing us to finish the cleanup faster. Our sergeant said that I could look for some people to help out, but seriously, who would want to do this job anyway? Well, you know, if you've got the time, could you give us a hand with the cleanup efforts? Sure. Thanks, your big help. I'm afraid I'm not particularly adept in the water. Clear the flotsam? Okay. What does that mean? Are we going fishing? Or are we like diving it? Oh! Oh! I see. Do we go from here? We might be able to like... Nope, it didn't work. Okay. Let's just gotta pick it up and hope we don't drown. I did this in the wrong order. As in, it's inefficient. But that's... You know, I'm gonna... Do... Can I climb back in the boat? Okay, I can. Okay. Let me stand here for a second. Let me grab this, and then this. Wait, there's more? Ugh. Fine. We can teleport there. Oh, Eric, do you have a test tomorrow? Good luck with your test. I hope it goes well. Let me... Where am I going? I don't like this area, because I'm pretty sure I've drowned more than once around these boats. Because <laughs> I don't think it's easy to climb back out of the water once you're in it. Which was unideal. Oh, but it looks like it's next to the tiny boats, so it should be fine. Okay, are we close enough to the water that... <gasps> yes, okay, good. One, two, three, four. Five. Oh, we got a book box. Okay, let's go and talk to the guy again. Come over here. Okay, 
Hello, I picked up all the rubbish. Have you finished the cleanup? I found this. Hmm, I suppose you can just keep that more. It isn't much, so I suppose you can keep it as competition for your help. This box on the hand is unknown to me. You might want to pass it on to Bywin. She's currently attending to some business at UI High Pavilion. Perhaps she might know what it is. I can't believe we have to go back again to your high pavilion how many times have i teleported to your high pavilion in the last like half an hour okay. oh good night adrx i hope you have a good sleep and that your exam goes well <laughs> okay okay let me see let me see i won i have a present for you hello how may i help you i picked this up from the ocean allow me to have a look yes it does indeed come from the jade chamber anything specific you can tell me well the contents consist of several documents and announcement that has yet to go undergo review to think that they are still so well preserved how unexpected they're somewhat out of date but still thank you for bringing these to us do take this as a token of our appreciation yeah. that was easy okay <laughs> yes that's another one done uh oh the dream fantasy hello i see you've <laughs> Another high hydrate. <laughs> Good to see you. Welcome to the stream. We are. I guess we're doing world quests now. Because I did the one that was over here, and now back to announce the month? Hmm. Because I usually kind of do them right to left, but I keep getting new ones that are over here. But like, I was doing a quest somewhere up there, and I... now I'm confused. Oh well, that's just how I keep track of them, right to left, so <laughs> we're gonna see what's over here. Actually, I think one of these is Xavier. I'm gonna go talk to Xavier because I think he's gonna be filming a film and that sounds like it might be entertaining. So I'm gonna go talk to Xavier and see if he's ready to film his film. I'm pretty sure he's here somewhere, but I don't remember exactly where he is. I just know it's somewhere in the vicinity of here. Oh, I heard a noise. That means I'm close. There he is. Hello again, Xavier. Wait, uh, sir, soldier, the line just read lacks the right emotional gravitas. Samurai like the wind sweeping the earth. Do you still remember what I said about the play? It's supposed to feel liberating and give the audience a sense of the... vicissitudes of life. I said liberating, liberating, you understand? This line is key to the whole play. You must express your emotions completely, fully, and perfectly. Ah. Uh, moreover, don't swing your sword in such haste. Make sure you are in view, otherwise the film camera will not be able to capture your movements at all. Pose and then pause, okay? Stop for a moment, then slice downwards with great force. But you can't swing your sword like that when you fight against people. True, but you have to tailor your acting to the production's needs. Well then, please ready up and we shall give this another go. What are you doing? Oh, it's you. Ah, my dear girl, a fair wind must have blown you here. As you can see, I'm shooting a swashbuckler film with our good soldier here. I call it the Seventh Samurai. Oh, a swashbuckler film is what I've been calling films of this genre. This sort of film shall have sword fighting scenes and it shall take the viewers on an incredible journey across the battlefield. Well, that's the idea at least. How did you persuade him to help out? Come now, our dear soldier understood me just fine. My main job really was to persuade Mr. Mikoshi Genjiro to allow me to make a film in Azuma. Honestly, Mr. Mikoshi Genjiro is such a serious man. Fortunately, he is also most understanding. After I had a sincere talk with him, he accepted my request quite happily. But in exchange, I have to make a movie that has to do with a shogunate, preferably with a samurai as a protagonist. But I was always interested in this sort of subject matter anyway, so of course I agreed to it, and Lord Mikoshi Genjiro was also very pleased. In addition to personally appointing our good soldier to go with me, he also assigned some skill troops to me, and then he said... Use these scenes of steel clashing at steel to display the majesty of the samurai and the shogunate. I have to say that Mr. Genjiro really is a man of vision, to have grasped the potential of using films as a marketing tool so very quickly. As for me, I will never refuse anything that will help me make films. Is it going well? To be honest, it's not doing going that well. While these soldiers are highly skilled in martial arts, they are not used to this kind of staged fighting. Not only are their sword movements too fast for the, kiln, the film camera to record, they sometimes even run outside of its view. Traveller, if you have the time, do you mind following my script and acting the story out for the soldiers to see? I believe that with your strength and understanding, you'll be able to perform brilliantly in front of the camera. You should be able to better understand the story after watching it from the spectator's point of view. Come, come, just read the script and the lines first. This part is mainly about fighting. 
Uh, but even when imperiled, the samurai is still samurai. Ah, these are lines from another scene. This one is mainly about fighting, so these aren't there aren't that many lines. All right, let me look at the script. Okay, Act five, scene three. Jisaburo leads the other samurai in a fierce battle with the thieves. The offensive led by Jisaburo gradually overpowers thieves, scattering them in all directions. Uh, Come, Jisaburo, the thieves are getting away. Jisaburo, they won't give Teniko up that easily. Keep your eyes peeled. After defeating the thieves, Jisaburo looks around absently and calls out. The thieves! Where are the thieves? They've all been beaten. Uh, he stands on the spot, scanning the surroundings, then bursts into tears. Quite dramatic. Oh, by the way, you'll be playing the role of Jisaburo. Together with several companions, he is employed by the villagers to protect their village. In this scene, one of your companions, Kyozo, has lines. I'll play his part, and the two of us will do a reading. Now, you must embody the role, understand it. Just think of yourself as Jisaburo. Do you understand? I am Jisaburo. Wonderful, splendid, bravo. Let me know when you're ready. I'll have to adjust the film camera's position. Okay. Interesting. Watch out for this guy, though. A swashbuckler film, her Mrs. Xavier showed us have interesting taste names. What do you think of the films? Our superiors believe that these are films will help to increase the show's prestige. Perhaps I'm simply a little slow in the uptake, but I do not see how this is the case. The script is full of these pessimistic lines. There is nothing of samurai dignity here. Who knows what they were thinking when they agreed to all this. Okay, how's the situation at the Kagi Furnace? Ever since the Hanbei's promotion, Yusuke has taken over as the person in charge. He's a craftsman by birth and trade, and is very down to earth and steady. He gets things done as well. With the Mikaki Furnace under his management, I doubt there'll be any further problems. Okay, Xavier, are you ready? Ready. Wonderful, bravo. In that case, let's begin. I shall make a few adjustments to the film camera and call the soldiers back. I hope I wasn't supposed to read it because I did not read it. Oops, my bad. <laughs> I failed! Okay, let me see if the film script says anything. Just in case. Ooh. Okay, where is, where's the film script? Oh no, it's the same thing I already said. Okay. They won't give him up that easily. And then... What was it? Where are the thieves? And then cry. Okay, let me drink some more water. Okay. I became camera shy. That was not my intention. I can't- I mess up that. <laughs> Let's go back and try that again. I did exactly what they said not to do, which was going out of the- oh, Okay, we gotta skip this and click the wrong guy. But I went out of frame. Hello, Xavier. The immediate film doesn't seem to have come out right. Please get ready again and we shall give it another go. <laughs> I'm ready. Wonderful, bravo, in that case, let's begin. Okay. Okay, you know what, I think, don't try and use... Okay, do not leave the recording area. Defeat the three bandits. Change positions. Okay. Well, this is really weird, because the, like, the camera angle's wrong. Oh, I see where the, okay. It's because I can no longer, like, point. I have to just use the arrow keys. <laughs> okay, no wonder I'm so confused. Oh, <laughs> go back! Okay, this is, this is fine. And then I can press Q. Ooh. Oh, that looks funky in, like, third-person perspective. <laughs> okay. Okay, I need to go this way to get the, the final changing of the position. <gasps> no! <God. laughs> okay. I think I did it, I think I did it. The thief, where's the thief? They've been beaten. All right, cut, perfect angle. <laughs> that was terrible. But I think I did it well enough that he will be pleased. Perfect, as expected, the heroine of my heart, a perfect demonstration, you truly are a star. What now? A star, that is to say, the most important actor in a film. Now then, Mr. Soldier, you saw that demonstration clearly, I trust. On the whole, yes. And swinging my blade, I should focus not so much on the act itself, but on the posture, yes. If you only require the posture, I have some ideas about that. Oh, that's wonderful. Please discuss the matter with your fellow soldiers. And we'll do another take in a while. You have my utmost gratitude for your help, Traveller. Here, take the pizza for you. What's the theme of your next film? Next film. Hmm, well, actually, I'm quite torn on what topic should be myself. 
Should we do one about the various traditions of the Grand Narakami Shrine, or the tales of the Kitsune and the Tanuki? There are so many items here in Nazuma and so many stories to be told, but regardless, I have to finish producing the 7th Samurai first. If this satisfies its fellow up fellows upstairs, I do suspect that, that future film projects shall progress much more smoothly. Okay. Okay, I feel like there are more of these. I just don't know where they are yet, so... <laughs> We're gonna have to look up. I'll have to look up to see where he goes. But I'm guessing he's gonna produce more films, because I'm pretty sure there's a whole quest series about him and his films. I just don't know what they are yet. But anyway. There's supposed to be another quest somewhere near here. So I'm gonna do that one, because... because why not? Where is it exactly? I don't know. Ah. Hello! Yo, Outlander, what are you doing sneaking around? I'm just passing through. Don't bother me with anything unimportant, Outlander, otherwise I'll kindly have you accompany me to the Outlander Affairs Agency. I have no idea how you got here, but it's a criminal offence to interfere with the Samurai's job. The Kanjo Commissioner will punish you severely should you find out. I advise you to stay back for your own safety. The Commission? Are you serious? You Outlanders not fear the Commissioner anymore nowadays? I don't see this place being under their jurisdiction. You, you're not wrong, but even a samurai has a right to some free time, you outlanders wouldn't understand. What are you doing? None of your business. All right, I'll let you go this time, just please leave me alone. Wait, what? Why would you come again if you've got something to say? Hurry up. The interrupt man while he's waiting for someone. Waiting with someone far outside his realm of jurisdiction? What are you trying to say? Not some proper folk you're meeting then, eh? Of course I wouldn't. Are you questioning a public servant? I'm on duty and waiting for my informant. Uh, contact. Speak up, I can barely hear you anymore. Oh, enough, leave or up. You'll be coming with me to the Outland Affairs Agency on charges of obstructing a personnel on official duty. Sure, let's go. Are you not afraid of being deported by the commissioner? I have my ways. Please don't report this matter to the commissioner. But I still don't get it. What is it that you want to know? I'm just a low-ranking officer, I don't know much beyond my duties, I don't think I'll be of much help to you. Well, I can help you. I can't believe an outlander would understand the honour of a samurai, you have my respect. Ah, public servant and a honey tongue. Please don't mock my, me anymore, I sincerely apologise for my rudeness, please accept my apology. By the way, I don't believe that you've given me your name. Call me Keiko. Well Keiko, since you're willing to help, I do have something to ask of you. There's, here's how I... How it is, I have a childhood friend, an outlander whom I haven't been able to meet since the Sakuraku decree came into effect. I was worried about her safety, so I started putting letters into drifting bottles in hopes that she'd receive them. However, she still hasn't responded. Drifting bottles, you say? Yes, I did. What of it? Are you referring to this? Oh, I found this in Dragon Spine. I see. This explains why the quest is now here when it didn't used to be here. This is it. Her badge is inside, too. I don't know how to thank you enough. You wouldn't mind me reading it, would you? No, what? Please don't. Do you still remember the Uyu restaurant? Uh, we shall meet there. Wait, you will find money for wine attached herein. Okay, but if you're not the one I was expecting to see this letter, please stop reading it, Keiko. That was very incredibly rude of you. Uh, well, look at you being all serious. Stop messing around. If you want to help me, just say so. Please continue. So recently, one of her old friends told me that she's doing well. They're both adventurers exploring the world, so I trust his intel. Unfortunately, between all the duties I shoulder, it's impossible for me to venture that far out. I was going to ask him to deliver my letter for me and we agreed to meet here. But all he ever thinks about is treasure. He hurriedly left for the ancient ruins on the northern part of Narakami Island and I haven't heard from him since. I've been here for several times already, finding time every day to wait for him here that I can't keep making excuses to sneak off. That's why I was hoping you could accompany me to find him. I expect it would take me a lot of time just to find those ruins where I took go by myself. But with your help, we may yet save a lot of time. By the way, since you already have the bottle, you can hand it over to her as well. Can I count on you for this? All right. Aye, let's head out at once. Okay. Wait. Am I navigating it? I am now. Uh, I hope he makes lots of unnecessary sequels. That would be brilliant. It would be brilliant. And sounds like something he would do. I don't know if they'd be sequels though, or just randomly in. Like, random films that are unconnected, but sequels are particularly amusing. Okay, I forgot to use my little wind thing again, but I remembered this time, so we're gonna speed up the gliding by using a little fan. Um, and yeah. 
Yeah. It'll be fine. <laughs> I have no idea how long this quest is, but we'll do the first bit. And then, I guess, looking at the vibe, see if it's likely to be another five minutes, or if it's more than five minutes, then that's probably too much. Okay, if you be around here, let's bid up and search. Is it this dude? Hello! Oh, why are you here, and who's that you brought along? You don't agree to meet alone. I understand, but if it's about that case, then tell your colleagues that it's not time yet. This isn't about that, it's the matter from last week, the one you promised me about. If I'm not that case, then which one are you talking about? I'm a law-abiding citizen these days, you know, I'm squeaky clean. This isn't the time we agreed on either way, I mean, I just got out of jail two weeks ago. <laughs> oh dear. Oh yeah, I got it now. Are you trying to preemptively arrest me to gain some credits? That's not it at all, and what game would there be in catching someone like you? Ouch, not in the feelings, man. I'm at least a treasure hoarder cadre. I'll have you know that I'm pretty well known on the streets too. No wait, I get it now, you must be... An explanation would be nice. Uh, man, not even knowing who the treasure holders are, is your colleague over here some new or something? Shut up. <laughs> Listen, Keigo, Shun is my informant, please don't make an unnecessary fuss out of this. Look, Kazu, I came here with this uh, mean friend of mine to ask you about where Big Sis is. I want to get in touch with her again. Oh, <laughs> what on earth are you laughing at her? What's your issue? Yeah, what he said. You're hilarious. She's So here's the skinny traveller. The three of us have known each other since we were wetting beds. This was back before the Sokoku decree. Way before Hiromi became some sick in the mud too. I mean, just look at what the commission headquarters did to a good boy like him. With me, they turned a good boy into a public servant who protects the people. With him, they turned a bad boy into a treasure hoarder. Alright, alright, I'll be straight with you. See, you knew who we were before the Sokoku decree was implemented, right? There you have it. That's why she left in Azuma. Bet you wrote, bet you wrote about Uyu restaurant in your last letter, eh? Don't worry, I miss it too. We even had a drink there the day before the Sokoku decree took effect. Everyone could tell what you were thinking, trust me. But well, isn't it a crying shame that your shogun hates Outlander drifters, eh? Let's just get back to business. Is any of this business? Alright, I'm done messing with you and I'd love to help you too, but I don't think I can. What do you mean? It's a long story. Oh. Oh well. I don't know what I clicked. <laughs> but it's fine. Uh, bar coincidence, mine does too. I assume it was like, this is a long story with a lot of things. So Big Sis and I were in Jayun Cast not long ago, you know about Jayun Cast, right? Remember the Adepti, shiny golden core lapis, light blue, not really jade, the works. That's where all the rare and exotic treasures gifted by heaven are buried, you know? They say the Adepti... Get to the point. Okay, so Big Sis and I were casing Jayun Cast, everything was going well at first, and we were even able to conceal ourselves from the Adepti. We found out treating ourselves as something nice after casing that joint, and we were just about to head back. And then there was a whistling cry between the rocks and the sea, and two swords were drawn. People leapt in front of us, one man and one woman, yelling bandits, there's nowhere to run. It was a pair of boys from the Gukwa clan, that was it, we thought we were done for. Oh yeah, you know, I've heard that man is named... Get to the point. The man's called Sunyu and the woman's called Little Kua. The Ixis and I had to split right there, I've got no clue where she is now. Thank you Keiko, you saved me a lot of time there. The scope of our search has been narrowed down a lot, all you need to do now is check with those two members of the Gukwa clan and there should be hope of finding her yet. This bottle and her badge, I can only rest easy after I've returned both of these to her. I'm embarrassed to ask, but can you please help me out? You're not going yourself? I have other duties, it'll be hard for me to leave. Oh, I have other duties. Ugh. It'll be hard for me to leave. You're useless. How can you take yourself seriously What with your pathetic salary and having to flatter your superiors constantly? Do you believe him? Shun's a pain and is by no means a good man, but I can trust him. Well, at least you've got a conscience. It's getting late anyway, you should go back to your post. I don't know what to say, you want to be a good public servant and a lackey of the commission. Yet you can't let go of our friendship or forget the throbbing of your heart. Even though your past has diverged so much, you don't have the guts to make your own choices, you're just the worst who throws your duties to others. But don't you worry, those choices will come back to you in the end. When that time comes, you won't be able to hide anymore. Don't you lecture me. That's right, that's right, how could I forget? I'm an outlander thief and you're a public servant. You should be the one lecturing me. Well, Traveller, it looks like it's your time to save the day again. I'm not going to play house with this petty public servant a second longer. I've got my own job to do. You are right. Uh, no, I'm fine, I'm fine. Well, he wasn't speaking complete nonsense. But I'm afraid I still need to do this for me, Keiko. Fine. <laughs> Thanks, I will seize the next opportunity when it comes along with my own hands. I'd be you back soon or my superiors will get mad. Thanks again for your help. Take care of yourself. If anything urgent should come up, you know where to find me, Rito. You got anything to say? 
If you've got something to say, say it fast. Our treasure hoarders, our time's not yours for the wasting. How about Hiromi? He's a good lad, but he's a big baby too. He needs a bit more time to grow. So I say, but in the end, being immature is better than being evil. He has his livelihood and his responsibilities. It's not all his fault either that he's scared to make choices. At least he's still got some choices to make. Wait, so this guy isn't as, like, mad at the first guy? Because it seemed like he was... Well, it seemed like they weren't really buddies, but that seemed quite, like, nostalgic. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. If you'd like to see me play live, then check out my Twitch channel. You can find me on Wednesdays and Sundays at 8pm GMT. Thanks again, and have a great day!